Hey, this week let's check out Ruli Wow's Muff Opportunity op amp bass fuzz pedal circuit. So I'm working my way through Ruli Wow's PCB builds, and this week I want to look at the Muff Opportunity op amp bass fuzz pedal circuit. Uh, this is a PCB build, meaning that you go onto Ruli Wow's website, which I'll link below, and you can order the PCB and then you populate it with your own components. Uh, this pedal is an op amp based fuzz circuit, so it's a little bit different than say your regular transistor based fuzz circuit. A lot of the same concepts still apply for the stages, but they're just using op amps here instead of transistors. Uh, this is actually based on EHX Big Muff Pi op amp circuit. Uh, became very famous with guys like the Smashing Pumpkins, which is why I called mine the Siamese Dream and EHX actually re-released their version of this last year. So what does Ruli Wow's Muff Opportunity Circuit look like? Uh, you could probably break it up into four or five stages. Uh, the first two stages being cascading amplification stages uh, using both sides of a JRC 4558 op amp. Uh, the first stage is just a simple input booster. There's a little bit of gain there using that JRC 4558 op amp in a inverting configuration. The second stage is a little bit more in depth. It's what we call a saline key filter. Uh, this is a non-inverting configuration of the JRC 4558. And what the saline key filter allows is just to ensure that the amplification is pretty much stable across all frequencies in the passband. The third stage of the circuit actually starts by sampling the output of the saline key filter from the second stage. Uh, this is done using the sustain knob here. So as you increase the sustain knob, you're actually increasing the level output from the saline key filter into the third stage of the MUF Opportunity circuit. The third stage of the MUF Opportunity circuit is also an amplification stage. It's actually a gain and clipping stage. Here the circuit uses an LM741 op amp in an inverting configuration with clipping diodes in the feedback loop. The fourth and fifth stage, depending on whether you want to combine them or not, are your tone and level stages. So that's controlled by your tone knob here and your level knob here or your volume knob. Uh, this is all passive, so there's no active components, no op amps or anything here. Uh, the tone knob is obviously going to adjust your frequencies, whether it's a little bit more bass, a little bit more treble, um, all done again with capacitors, resistors, and then your volume knob is just a simple uh, potentiometer with one side to ground and the other side to the output of from the tone stage, and you're just telling what level you want of that output. So just a quick review of the, the build. It fits nicely into a 1590B case. Um, there's lots of room in there. Uh, I've got mine a little bit crooked in there, but that's just because I didn't use uh, PCB mount potentiometers. If I would have done that, I probably could have twisted it around there and got it to sit straight, but nothing's hitting the sides, nothing's shorting out, and I'm happy with it. Uh, really happy with all the documentation that really well provided as well. Uh, you get, like all their builds, a complete components list step-by-step -step instructions on how to build it and even templates for drilling out your uh, enclosures. So for me, the op amp fuzz sound really reminds me of the Smashing Pumpkins and their Siamese Dream album. That's why I've called this the Siamese Fuzz. I'm gonna try to get some of those Smashing Pumpkin sounds out of this pedal. Uh, instead of running it through my Fender Blues Junior, I'm gonna run it through my Fender uh, 007 Bass Breaker amp. It's just a little bit more of a Marshall-y sounding amp and hopefully will allow me to achieve those uh, smashing pumpkin tones a little bit easier.
So I hope you guys like that demo of the Muff Opportunity by RuliWow, or in my case, the Siamese Fuzz. Um, let me know what you think of the build. If you have any questions, if you've built it out before, just comment below. Uh, other than that, subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time.